a bullet is loaded into the chamber. The firing pin strikes the primer at the back of the bullet, igniting the gunpowder, which produces an explosion and rapid expansion of gases. The combustion of the gunpowder creates a large amount of high-pressure gas that propels the bullet at an extremely high speed, over a thousand kilometers per hour. But how are bullets made? In this video, we will discover the ammunition manufacturing process on an amazing scale. The process of making a bullet begins with receiving large coils of brass, an alloy of copper and zinc that combine strength and malleability, ideal for producing ammunition cases. Since the 19th century, brass has been used in this industry due to its corrosion resistance, which improves the precision and reliability of bullets. These coils, which are usually several meters long and weigh hundreds of kilograms, allow for continuous and efficient production. Once received, the brass coils are placed in uncoiler machines that feed the material into the subsequent stages of the manufacturing process. It is crucial to maintain constant tension while uncoiling to avoid deforming or irregularly stretching the material. The uncoiled brass strips are sent to cutting presses where they are cut into circular discs known as blanks. Each disc must have a precise diameter to ensure that the resulting case meets the required dimensions, a precision measured in micrometers. The leftover brass from cutting is collected and recycled, returning to the start of the process to be reused, minimizing waste. Once the brass discs are cut, they undergo a chemical wash to remove any oils, dust, or residual contaminants from the cutting process. After washing, the discs are completely dry to prepare them for the next stage. The second step in bullet manufacturing is transforming these discs into cases through a process called drawing and forming. The discs are introduced into a drawing press that converts them into elongated cylinders. This process is carried out in several stages to prevent the material from breaking or weakening. Generally, drawing is done in three stages, with the cylinder being progressively stretched and elongated to reach the desired length and thickness. During this process, the mouth and neck of the case are shaped, where the projectile will be inserted, ensuring a perfect fit and adequate pressure during bullet use. After drawing, the cases undergo an annealing process to relieve internal material stresses. This involves heating the cases to a controlled temperature and then slowly cooling them. Annealing improves the ductility and durability of the brass, preventing the cases from cracking or deforming during use. The cases are heated to 650 degrees Celsius for an hour before being gradually cooled. This controlled cooling is crucial to prevent the reintroduction of stresses in the material. The case mouth is prepared to receive the bullet. This process includes ensuring that the inner diameter is uniform and smooth. A small pocket is drilled to house the essential component for propellant ignition. The base of the case is cut and drilled to create the primer pocket, which will house the powder initiator. The depth and diameter of this pocket must be exact to ensure uniform powder ignition. Additionally, a small hole is drilled in the case bottom to allow the primer flame to ignite the powder charge. This hole must be uniformly sized and perfectly aligned to ensure reliable and consistent ignition. The next step is forming the case rim, essential for extracting the empty case after use. The rim must be well formed so that the weapons extractor can properly engage and eject the case. Each case is inspected using cameras and lasers to ensure all dimensions meet precise specifications. This inspection checks the diameter, length, wall thickness, and other critical parameters. Cases that do not meet specifications are automatically rejected to maintain product quality. The machines used in this step are extremely advanced, capable of working with tolerances up to one hundredth of a millimeter, ensuring extreme precision. Next is the projectile manufacturing stage, one of the most crucial in the ammunition production process. Projectiles are commonly made of lead, a dense and moldable material. For more advanced ammunition, copper alloys or even steel can be used. Many projectiles are coated with a copper jacket or similar alloys to improve wear resistance and reduce barrel fouling. The lead core is melted and molded into the projectile's basic shape. It is formed through extrusion, where the material is forced through a die to shape it. The projectile is calibrated and rounded to ensure it has a perfect aerodynamic shape. Next, the powder is introduced into the case. This step must be carried out with extreme precision to ensure both the safety and performance of the ammunition. 
Gunpowder is an explosive chemical compound that provides the necessary energy to propel the bullet. This process is done with dosing machines that dispense an exact amount of powder into each case, determined by the ammunition design and performance specifications. Once the case is loaded with powder and the primer is placed, the next step is assembling the bullet. This involves placing the projectile in the case mouth and securing it firmly. Once the projectiles are ready, they are inserted into the cases. This is a critical step that requires precision to ensure the projectile fits perfectly. Crimping, which involves bending or pressing the case edge around the projectile, is done with specialized tools to form a tight seal. This process ensures the projectile remains in place during storage, preventing unwanted movement. Once assembled, each bullet undergoes a visual inspection to verify assembly integrity and detect any visible defects. Bullets that do not meet quality standards are removed from the process. Subsequently, the assembled bullets undergo rigorous quality control to ensure they meet performance, safety, and reliability standards. This stage is essential to identify and correct any defects before the ammunition leaves the factory. The weight and dimensions of each bullet are precisely checked, as any significant deviation could affect accuracy and performance. Each bullet is visually inspected for surface defects such as cracks, dents, or irregularities in the coating. It is verified that the crimping has been done correctly and that the projectile is securely fixed in the case. Once the bullets have been thoroughly inspected, they are packaged in appropriate boxes to protect them during storage and transport. Once packaged and labeled, they are stored in secure, controlled warehouses to ensure their integrity and safety. The bullets are then ready to be distributed to end customers either through wholesalers or directly to end users via courier services or transport companies. In the case of military ammunition, they are distributed through specific channels for use by the armed forces. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to keep learning.